Jim Rex? What's Jim Rex? Would you believe a movie audience guide presented as a public service by this theater's management to help you select your motion picture entertainment? Well, that's what it is. And we urge you to learn these rating symbols and use them as a guide for you and your family. G means suggested for general audiences, all ages. M, suggested for mature audiences, parental discretion advised. R, restricted, persons under 16 not admitted unless accompanied by parent or adult guardian. X, persons under 18 will not be admitted. This seal in advertising indicates that the film was approved under the Motion Picture Code of Self-Regulation. discover what sort of man he is. He's captured by the Sioux, who have never seen a white man before. He is treated like an animal, fights with dogs for scraps of meat. He's man reduced to his absolute minimum. Christ! I've had enough! You bunch of bloody bastards! I'm not a horse! I'm not an animal! I am a man! I'm going to get out of here, and you're going to help me. And why I do this? Because you want to get out. That's why. You're the killer. When you first brought me here, you said I was a horse, an animal. And to me, you were mean, vicious, ignorant, superstitious, benighted savages. And when you fight your enemies and their arrows pierce your skins, you bleed like all men. But it seems to me that you only live to hunt your buffalo, to fight the Shoshone, and to have your women. I know you would say to me, what else is there? And one day, I will be a chief. A man called Horse. To finally become an Indian warrior, he must perform the sun vow ceremony, perhaps the most electrifying ritual ever seen. <laughs> Adventurers is here. Harold Robbins' sensational bestseller. Now the screen's most incredible entertainment. The Adventurers is here. All of it. All of them. Dax, Sue Ann, Fat Cat, Amparo, the beautiful people, the violent people. Run! These are the adventurers. Searching for passion. Reaching for power. I am a 
made this country great. They envy me my position in history. I hate you, Daxenos. Do you know that? I've got a present for you. I'm the richest girl in the world. I don't find people. They find me. 500,000 and 5,000 a month is our last offer. It looks so bad for the heir to one of the largest fortunes in the world. To be a bastard. I beg your pardon. You two haven't met. Dax Ennis, my husband. Is it true you've made love to every woman in this room? Not yet. When you were a child, you killed seven men with that gun. Like it or not, Dax, you are involved. Nothing has been left out of the adventurers. South America, New York, Paris, Venice, Rome, the Riviera, the glamorous playgrounds, the explosive battlegrounds. This is the world of the adventurers. I trusted you. I would have done anything for you! Someday I shall kill you for this! I'd like to know what it is you really care about. You don't make love to girls. You make love at them. Dex does not feel things like other men. Nothing has been left out of the adventurers. out of the adventurers. Boot Hill is where death comes quick. where death comes hard. Boot Hill is where death comes often. Because in Boot Hill, death comes in two colors. Terence Hill as the man with no name, and Woody Strode as the gunfighter. Are the colors of death in Boot Hill. You're not the one I'm looking for. But you'll make good bait for my trap. That's the only reason for me to try to keep you alive. Boot Hill, filled with the violence of the West. Victor Buono as honey. He owned the town. Noise or not. Take as many men as you need and do whatever you want, but at tomorrow's meeting, I don't want to hear anything more about those people. Lionel Stander as mummy, saves his friends, and buries his enemies. I'll take that bullet out of him, all right? I'll cure him. I'll make him well. And then I'll run out, borrow a gun, to shoot him in a place it'll take. Eduardo Cianelli as the commissioner, he wrote his own laws. You see now, Judge, we... Don't call me judge, sir. No, Your Honor. And not even your honor. Bud Spencer as Hutch, killed for a town that didn't care. Pooh! You see that? Look at the mess we got ourselves in. I told you we were wasting time with this bunch. Not even an earthquake will get them moving. <laughs> There's one other thing to do before day comes. What? Don't you realize if they don't listen to me, they'll all end up six feet under? 
And so will their wives and their children. Because after Finch takes care of those four idiots, he won't spare anyone. This is Boot Hill, where nobody died of natural causes. Boot Hill, a Film Ventures International release, filmed in Technicolor and Technoscope. from beyond time, from beyond the outer limits of your imagination. He's the master of the flying guillotine. And he's ready to blow your mind. With more nerve-shattering special effects than you have ever seen before. It's a trip into a world where warriors from the ends of the universe meet in combat that knows no boundaries. A world where silent soldiers of death try everything in their power to conquer the most gruesome weapon ever conceived. See special visual effects filmed entirely in Super Cinevision as the master of the flying guillotine encounters the most amazing creatures in this or any world. As he experiences the most spectacular adventures the mind can imagine. The master of the flying guillotine. Teach me the ways of the white man. First, you steal a horse. They're after me with guns, knives, and fast, fast horses. They're after me with bombs and drives and fast, fast women. They're going to tail me, trail me, try to nail me there. But they haven't got a prayer. They call him Captain of the They call him Captain Apache, among other things. You're one dumb Indian. Ain't you off the reservation, red ass? Everyone tries, but no one stops this redskin in cavalry blue. He takes them on one at a time. <laughs> or two at a time. Even four at a time. Any number will do. Open the door. He'll shoot me. Open it. Hi. It's only me. The reason I came out west was to study the Indians. Savages fascinate me. How? Oh. Why do you always insult people who might kill you? I like to see a man enjoy his work. Something's going to happen tonight. What? You're going to get killed.
formidable attack on Pearl Harbor, as told from both the United States and Japanese sides. Once two nations made war, today they have collaborated to make a motion picture of unequaled magnitude and importance, recreating the actual events leading up to the day that changed the course of history. Tora, Tora, Tora! Tora, 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 an unprecedented film, bringing you answers to one of the most controversial mysteries of our age. How could the attack on Pearl Harbor have happened? Colonel, sir, if we do spot something, what do we do? Report it to headquarters, damn it. How, sir? We haven't got a telephone, sir. There's a gasoline station about a mile down the road. They must have a phone. Why was one nation unprepared while another was geared for war? Why did the plan for the sneak attack split the Japanese high command wide open? <laughs> should have stayed in San Diego where it belongs. I made the mistake of pointing that out to Roosevelt. Why was Admiral Yamamoto marked for assassination by the Japanese warlords? Does anybody trust anybody anymore? Why was the President of the United States office considered a security risk? How did the Japanese rehearse their doomsday attack on Pearl Harbor? give us the full inside story. Why did they keep the American command in the dark? What part was played by the strange Japanese officer they called Gandhi? How did U.S. intelligence know of the attack before the Japanese ambassador did? What was the fateful blunder made by Admiral Nagumo? How was a mighty Japanese task force able to race 4,000 miles across the Pacific undetected? What caused the notorious radar error? Yeah, well, don't worry about it. Here's a message to the commanding general of Fort Shafter. Uh, is it marked urgent? No. Why was Washington's last urgent warning sent by ordinary telegram? <laughs> the sun came up, the bombs came down, and the world came apart. For the first time, a motion picture tells what really happened at Pearl Harbor. Hey, look out! Hey, you guys, scatter! spectacular film ever made. Para, para, para. Do you need a lift? Are you waiting for that big break? How about some new kick? You'll get them all from the wildest bunch of far-out superheroes who ever came your way. Super Stooges versus the Wonder Women. Make way for the Wonder Women, meanest mamas of them all. When they go on a rampage, nobody can stop them. Nobody but the Super Stooges. Raise this valley again, and none of you will leave it alive. Dharma, the immortal magician. Chang, the Chinese chopper. And Lu, the black Samson. See them flip out with their superhuman feet. They're incredible. Honorable partners, I think the time has come for us to get the hell out of here. They're invincible. Whoa, you're the heaviest. If you manage to fly, then it'll be easy for me. They're impossible. Yeah! If we stick together, there's no force in the world capable of beating. I'm That's the secret weapon of the Wonder Women that has the Super Stooges in deep trouble. 
the panorama of pandemonium as the Super Stooges fight back. C, the barrage of the polo ball. C, the blitzkrieg by firebombs. C, the terrifying attack of the super tanks. Oh, speed ahead! They're people powered. Steer to your right! I can't steer to the right! I got a guy with a limp on the left! Move over, Hercules. Move over, Superman. Move over, Captain Marvel. The wildest bunch of superheroes you ever met are coming to your rescue. Don't miss the super amazing, super astounding, Super Stooges versus the Wonder Women. Buried within the uncharted depths of what is surrounding a group of islands off the 50th parallel lies man's most formidable challenge. The awesome awakening of prehistoric monsters long thought extinct. Science was baffled and powerless. The terror-stricken humanity knew that it was on the brink of total destruction. The once proud civilization now had to place its trust and hope in Godzilla and his powerful ally, Robot Man. In concert, they would fight this evil in a duel to the death. Battling by day, battling by night, it was more than a race against time. This war was an all-out effort whose ultimate purpose was to save our planet from total destruction. Now came the moment of truth. The ultimate battle. against Titan, giant against giant in the most spectacular battle yet. To see it all in Godzilla versus Megalon. beneath the sea to challenge the unknown. When the forces of nature erupt, the ocean floor opens up, hurling five men and one woman 15 miles straight down to a place that exists on no map and yet holds the key to man's future. Latitude zero. Where the past merges with the present, to predict the future. The Alpha launched June 21st, 1805. Since you question everything, I don't expect you to believe there's so much of anything else you're about to see. I am 204 years old. Alpha's northeast of you and course for latitude zero. Those are torpedoes. Search missiles. Well, do something, will you? Latitude Zero Good battles evil, using the incredible weapons of tomorrow. Activate your elevation belt. I've seen pictures of the moon that looked a lot more inviting. Right. Say, hey, Captain, you ever been here before? First time. Well, that's great. How do we find Dr. O'Connor? We'll have to search. Could be in that tower. Live an adventure beyond your wildest imagination as mankind fights for its very survival.
share every exciting moment of the incredible world of Latitude Zero, where man's future explodes 15 miles beneath the Earth. After the ultimate war, comes the ultimate warrior. After the last world wars have almost wiped man off the earth with food disappearing, water scarce, and all machines stopped, one lone band of survivors huddles behind walls of debris. Under the leader they call the Baron. I went up on the roof. Give him to the street people. at your people, I get a feeling they figure they won't last very long. I've been looking for a man who would combine several attributes. You're a fighter. The man they call Carrot. I saw him through your binoculars. We introduced ourselves. He's tough. He's a good organizer. He can call on 30, 40 men if he has to. He should be able to take you over, wipe you out. Probably. But I don't think he knows how few people we have left. There's only one man who can get through the roving street people. This is the ultimate warrior. If it comes to saving one or the other, save the seats. <laughs> Fiction creates the ultimate man, Inframan. And a motion picture creates the ultimate spectacle. Adventure beyond your wildest imagination with the man beyond bionics. Six million light years beyond believability. Is he man or machine? Electronic circuits integrated with living cells in the living body of a man. Powered by nuclear energy. Man, you won't believe your eyes. You won't believe your ears. You 
won't believe your mind. Now, Joseph Brenner brings you the most advanced product of bionic science, towering above them all. Thunderbolt fists. Rocket feet. Can Inframan survive heat that melts rock? Cold that freezes fire. Is Inframan a match for men of steel? motion picture that will stagger your imagination. Inframan, the ultimate in science fiction. The most incredible action film ever made. Blood of the Dragon. Starring the most incredible performer ever to appear on the screen. And the ultimate weapon, six feet of silver death. Wong Yu, Asia's greatest superstar, the king of the martial arts, is the dragon. The Dragon, taking on all comers in a film which explodes with action, from its opening moment to its last frame. Wong Yu, and Six Feet of Silver Death. Filmed on location in Taiwan with an international cast of martial arts stars. Blood of the Dragon, the most spectacular action film ever made, produced by Park Benji, climaxing in the longest and most exciting battle sequence ever filmed. <laughs> Michael Phoebus presents Blood of the Dragon. You'll never see another picture like it. Coming soon. You ready, world? They're here. Outlaw Riders. Known as the Get It On Gang, the Chopper Gang, the Now Gang. Are you ready for them? They are Outlaw Riders. Tripping from town to town, ducking the law all the way. Watch it, you mini-skirted, hot-pants set. The Levi'd Mamas will put you down. See Waco's gang, Pedro's gang, with their hot temper. Ah, I smell a gringo! Meeting face to face, breaking, busting, and falling it up. Tough as leather, harder than steel. Waco, gang leader, six foot two and rugged. Chuck, Waco's lieutenant. Don't cross their tracks or you'll be cut down. Who can stop them? See Outlaw Riders. A Hawthorne production rated GP. Soundtrack available on MGM Records.